since I'm a virgin, I'll find a good man to marry, a man that will respect me. It's a lie. Oh, I'm a virgin. God will answer my prayers before he answer everybody's prayer. Shut up. Oh, I'm a virgin. This one is going to happen. That one is going to happen. It's a lie. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sweet Terry. If you are here, if you are new here, you are welcome. So today, I'm going to be talking to both the virgins and the non-virgins. Everybody have their share in today's story. And you know, it includes both guys and girls. So everybody, stay put. But I'm going to be starting with the first set. The virgins. I want to say that if you are in that category... Of people that are keeping their virginity and what's their aim to tell people oh so that when they say oh I'm a virgin the boy is like wow you virgin how did you do that nice wow I'm so proud of you in this 21st century you able to keep your body or you are that category of uh, people that believe that oh because I'm a virgin I'm better than this girl you don't have any other thing to offer I'm a virgin so I will find a good man a man that will respect me <laughs> sister wake up wake up from your sleep see i feel like some of us are just keeping the virginity for the wrong reasons and when you are keeping it for the wrong reasons, you will be so disappointed so we are doing veggie veggie but if you used to watch um, in your private space when you're alone you used to um, and yet, just go and do it, sister. Stop deceiving yourself. Me and you know that you want to do it. Just do it. Stop doing all the thing for the glory and the name. It's not going to work. Sooner or later, you're going to fall into the trap. And I want to also say this. As a girl, don't go and fall for another streak of, oh, when a man tells you, oh, you're virgin, I'd like to marry you. It's, it's a lie, yo. Because I believe that they are doing that because they have this mindset of tightness. I'm not going to talk about that one today. They believe it is going to be tight. So they want to enjoy it when it's tight. So what happens when it is no longer tight? They will leave. You see, virginity is just like a part of... It's just like one part of... It's just like being beautiful. You understand? Being a virgin is just like being beautiful or having a nice character. You know, we say it's not to get to any good thing. My point here is that if you want to be a virgin, if you want to keep yourself, keep it for the right reasons. Keep it because you want to be holy, like you want to be clean. You don't want to be passing through stress of STD, pregnancy. You want to keep yourself for the Lord. Because if you are keeping it for one man that you are thinking with your husband that will respect you, or you are keeping it so that people will be like, oh my gosh, my sister, you are doing it for the wrong reason. Keep yourself because you want to keep yourself. You derive joy in keeping yourself. And don't let anybody change your mind, though. Both your friends are girls or your friends are but don't let them change your mind. Don't let anybody deceive you, my sister. Keep yourself and keep yourself well. So maybe you are doing virgin virgin, but the person you want to date is the boy that has to go to a club every day, that has to want to ball. It will not work. It will sleep with you. When you are there's some certain habits or certain goals you have and there are some certain people you should not associate yourself with. So you cannot be doing you want to be a virgin boy, you want to be going every to club. My sister, one day you're gonna lose it. So please when you keep yourself, keep yourself for the right reason because you want to you derive joy in the spirit. You want to be with God. You want to look clean. You want to appear clean. Not because of one kind of nonsense. You go you you're a good person or you quick and see us band or nothing. You know they work. It doesn't work. Okay? So keep it for the right reasons. Or you now count yourself better than others. Oh, I'm a virgin. I'm not kind of sleeping with this man. I don't do that. I'm a good person. Shut up. Just shut up. So until you keep it for the right reason, you will never be satisfied. So over to the non-virgins. Well, first of all, don't be a witch. I'm going to start telling your friend that is keeping herself that they say they won't keep yourself for, for this modern world. If they miss allow her him or her to live her life because i feel like boys also do this a ah, guy just did there you and your baby now they didn't see my dear they're going to come carry on they're going to knock your baby for your eye or that wise up all oh, they listen to them don't listen to them keep yourself as a guy as a girl 
go they follow them they say when we go when we go keep yourself uh, and do not veggies mind your business don't go and drag somebody to the life that you are living so please don't be a wicked person and start influencing somebody else to do something uh, break it now nothing they there please if that's what the person decides, leave on. If that's not what you want, do your own. Then, I feel like the girls, most especially, when that first period, when you lose your virginity, or probably, I don't know if it happens for a very long time, you start feeling worthless, okay? You know, you see these jokes about, she, you say you go keep yourself, till you marry, have fun, and now you don't, they travel, you know? You get a lot of things. There's one I saw, they say, the woman has come out of her shell. She thinks it's freedom. Meanwhile, she is punished as something, you know, things that make you feel worthless. That because I don't have this, you know, I don't have anything to offer. It's not true, my dear. You have a lot to offer. Stop beating yourself about it. Okay, it's happened. It has happened. This is the thing now. One, two minutes now. One second now, they stay come out. So it doesn't define you, okay? You can still live a good life. You can still be a better person. A beautiful woman and do so many other things it does not define you don't feel worthless don't feel useless okay you are still a human being and please don't use this opportunity to go and say hey, i don't do and i'm not beginning to do every oh, no don't do that don't do that it's not silly when you are dirty what do you do you beat it's the same thing so when you feel like oh this thing i've been doing it doesn't make sense i need to be with god i need to live in the spirit then you stop it and start living a good life as i came here to say shall i'll see you guys in another video bye